Hello, I would say welcome back to the game room and all that good stuff, but um, we're in the spare room at the moment, so um, because it's hot. And I want to show you a car boot pickup, not something that I do anymore. In fact, it wasn't my pickup. So I thought we'd do a video, you know, when something's too good to be true. So it's three Xbox 360s for £5. Yeah, £5 for three of them. Uh, it's in a big, big bag for life, I'll show you. So, big, heavy, plus heavy. Um, I haven't, haven't opened the bag, haven't looked at them or anything else. Uh, believe it or not, it's my daughter. My daughter picked these up. The guy just took them out of the car, and she sort of, you know... Uh, I think she's turning into a little uh, little reseller. She just pounced on him and said, uh, how much do you want for all that? Um, and he just said a fiver. So, yeah, one of them must surely work, let's hope. So we're going to go through them uh, and see see what condition they're in. I mean, I can see by the top, the, just the tops of the consoles, some of them are really rough. So, um, uh, she got them really as well because I want... I do want a spare 360 and I want the HDMI version so I've got a very early version and I'm always worried about it giving up um, so I want I definitely want uh, the the one with the HDMI so I think she's got she's gonna have one for the sp for a spare room at her place uh, I'm gonna keep one if they work and I just think she's gonna try and get rid of the other one just just uh, just sell it uh, but for a five or for three of them is it too good to be true let's find out let's find out right then so let's delve into the box um, this one looks really really dusty this one you'll have to excuse the camera work but um, this one don't look too bad so um, I think we've only got one, or maybe two power bricks in there, don't know yet. Uh, oh yeah, she did get me that as well. <laughs> uh, she got me that, it's like a little little pencil case, but that's going to be good for my... Um, that'd be good because I can keep my memory cards in that in the game room, so that's quite good actually. So we've got the TV ready which was a bit of a task because I couldn't find the remote control. Uh, I've had to take the TV down off its stand. It's only a little portable because uh, I don't have enough room. I don't have a little table and believe it or not, I've got the shortest uh, HDMI cable imaginable. So let's get some of this out. Uh, one, two, so there's three. Right, so there's three power bricks. So that's good. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit grubby in there. I've got three power bricks. Um, I think I'm going to pop this on the pop this on the uh, on the tripod. Right then, it's just easier if I do it like this. I was going to do it by pointing the camera down and stuff but it's not it's not working out this one looks pretty grubby let's have a look oh there you go um some minor scratches on the top this one but looks looks okay actually uh, I've opened up, I've got some security bits, I've opened up the old one, I was okay with that, but I've never opened up one of these, and I'm presuming, I don't know how you do it, there's some kind of, you can just lift something up to check if there's a hard drive in there, don't quite know how you do that, but this one looks good, this one looks uh, pretty good, a little bit grubby, the dust isn't too bad, so I'm kind of if they work, I want to try and um, I 
I'd rather just get the brush and the hoover on them to get the dust out rather than going inside. So, but I've never opened up one of these before. So that's the first one. And I don't know what the silver lining means on each, on some models. Does that mean it used to have a bigger hard drive or something? I don't know. Uh, this one is... This one's probably a little bit rougher. Um, a lot of dust in this one. Quite a few scratches on it. Um, so they've both got that silver, that silver lining on. I don't know what that is. She even got the bag of life off the guy as well. <laughs> right, this one is completely matte black. What does that mean? Does anyone know? Uh, Some minor scratches. This is quite a nice one actually. Uh, it's missing. So this is completely matte black. So I don't know what that means. This is quite a good one though. Again, it looks in good nick. Oh, I've just found that tab. So why can I find a tab on this one but none of the others? Ah, well, this doesn't have a hard drive. Which is unfortunate so whether or not that's going to work without a hard drive I don't know so right okay so why can I not find the same tab on these I do apologize they are there so let's just go back and check these other two no hard driving that one None in this one. Well, this one's quite heavy. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. No hard drive in that. So, all hard drives removed. But uh, let's try and test them. Let's at least try and test them and see, see if there's any life in them, yeah? Hang on. Right then, so... I've even uh, optimistically grabbed a grabbed a game off the shelf to see to see if they'll run. So we're going to try this matte black one. Uh, I don't know what the matte black was all about. Is it an elite version or something? Um, a shame about the hard drives, but uh, you know what can you do for five pound? I've just realised I didn't put the I didn't put the HDMI in. Where's that go? Show you how old my 360 is. Uh, sorry about the camera. This cable is so short and thick, it's unbelievable. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased they've all got the power packs. All three have got power packs. Um, so hopefully, we'll just use one here. The TV wants to turn itself off. Here goes, let's see what happens. We've got power at least. Uh, oh. Okay, so is that kind of standard? Let's see if the mechanism comes out. Uh, mechanism will not come out. Uh, don't know if that's because of that. Uh, it says can't read, can't read the update from your Xbox 360 hard drive. Please reattach it. Your console will automatically restart and continue. Okay, so this is probably going to be the issue on all of them, I imagine. Um, bizarrely. The tray won't open, so is that because of this update issue, I wonder? Could it be? Uh, we can't seem to turn it off. I hate 
hate these uh, touch sensitive things, these capacitance things. So worryingly, this one won't go off. Oh, it's gone off. Okay. Uh, what well, if we try and force the drive open immediately? No, so I don't, again, I don't know if that's because it's, it's got no, uh, no updated hard drive. But it, it does fire up with a signal, that one. I've got, I've, I've got a feeling they're all going to be the same, so let's have a look. Right, this one is really grubby, the state of that. Uh, looks to be just dust, hopefully. It doesn't seem to be a liquid or anything. Um, yeah, we're going to probably get the same issue with this. It's quite a nice amount of USBs on this model. I didn't realise that. And I wonder if they're still powered when it's on standby. I've always loved the 360 that it does that. Because you can, uh, it's so versatile and you can charge stuff. So let's go. Oh, we've got power. And we've got a signal. Oh, shuts down automatically. Uh, not a good sign. This one's gone completely, I think. Let's try and take the power out. Jesus, how hard can it be to get that power in? Try again. All right. Well, the tray works on that, but it forces itself to shut down, um, which is odd. Whoa! We got some uh, activity. No. How bizarre. Okay, we had some activity there. Uh, again, I don't know how how much of this is relevant because of... Because of the lack of hard drives. One more attempt to boot this one up. We'll just try the classic first piece of uh, advice that we get in in work from our IT department unplug it plug it back in so let's try and force that again with the tray yeah we're not going to get any joy I'm trying to see if there's any red lights or, or any errors at all Just that LED is missing there. So yeah, the jury's out on that one. Um, that might need to be investigated further, but they'll only really, really, really know once the hard drive is there. But this should not be shutting itself back down. So I'm going to need to have a little bit of research on that. Right, let's have a look at the last one. Right, okay, so this is the last one. Again, this one's got that silver trim, so... Don't know what that's all about. I've just realised as well that we do have a hard drive um, because my son, his his Xbox is still here, so we might actually go and grab that hard drive in a second. But here we go with the last one. Right, all the lights are working on this one. Well, well, well. 
this one's uh, this one's pretty good. So let's try. I've got no controller, so. Don't suppose let's just see if it reads that disc. Yeah, it reads it fine. That's good news about that one. Uh, if it's just that one working alone for a fiver, you can't uh, you can't knock that. I wonder why it would say it would be okay to use this without a hard drive, but not the others. It's a bit odd. So that one's fine. Happy about that one. I think we're going to try and see if we can get this hard drive, so give me a second. Right then, so... Unfortunately... <laughs> Yeah, the picture's got a bit dark, it's got into standby mode. Uh, we don't have, or he doesn't have, the Xbox here. So, um, which is a shame because I was going to test it. Uh, so, just had a quick look, I think I can get 320 gig hard drive for about tenner off of eBay. Uh, one that's formatted and ready to go. So, I'm going to do that because one of these is going to be spare. Um, I want to use. I want to see what we can do with the other two. The one, the one that works. I'm a bit worried about the heat coming off of this thing. Uh, it may simply be because it's in such bad condition. There's so much dust in there um, that it cannot be getting proper ventilation. So yeah, again, they're quite. They're quite easy to get apart. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, so we'll do that. We'll do that in another video. Um, we'll get that. We might as well get the hard drive for this one at least. Uh, but this is going to have to come apart because that heat is uh, is not good, especially when it's just on standby, not even playing a game. So, yeah, yeah. What a weird car boot pickup. Three Xboxes for a fiver. As I say, we'll do a follow-up video. We'll get the hard drive. And um, I think that other one, though, that keeps shutting down, it's, it's got something seriously wrong with it. And one of those LEDs is uh, has failed on the front. Um, but no, uh, no error codes, no red, no red LEDs at all. So we shall see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Let's turn this thing off before uh, it fries itself. Bye-bye.